Hello, the Networkberg here. Hope you've been doing well. Welcome back to the videos. If you've been watching, this is the second video um, where we will now be going over what's actually happening in EVNG, how to create labs, how to connect stuff, all that good bits and bobs so that you can also actually create your very own first lab. Uh, it's not going to be specific to Mikrotik right now, but it will help you understand how EVE functions, especially the community edition. Now we're already logged into our EVNG server on its IP address that we received. Um, we got that IP address off of the initial setup and your IP may vary. So just uh, make sure that it's what the IP address is when you look at the VM workstation screen here. We connected on HTTP and we logged in with admin and Eve. Now we're greeted with this very blank page where nothing's really happening. So just a few things that you can notice is um, it will tell you the version. So this is a 2019 version. Uh, sorry, when I clicked on that, it just took me to the EVE website um, just to kind of like get you to see more information about EVE. If we look at the information tab, there's an about, which I think, okay, this is also just takes us to the website. Uh, but this can take you to forum, a GitLab, the YouTube channel and some help uh, with EVE. Important bits here is your system status, system logs, and here you can stop all your nodes as well. Uh, sorry, I might just have to log in again. Let's just see system status. So this is just going to show you how many resources or how much resources are actually being consumed by EVE at the moment. Currently not that much. Uh, we didn't spec for a large um, server. So uh, this is actually understandable that we are already using 9% memory, but still got a lot of, uh, resources available. Your management um, here. You'll, you, this is where you can effectively like change your you, the admin username if you want. Um, I'm not going to change any of those details. But the main tab. This is where all of the good stuff is happening. Where you're creating and importing labs and all that stuff. Um, if you look, you can create folders if you want. You can give the folders like a name, like MTCNA. This will just create a folder that you can navigate into. Um, and you can click on the two dots just to go up back up to the root directory. So I'll go into this MTC and A. And then we've got all these different options that we can click as well. We can create a new lab. We can change the la a, a, a lab's name. Maybe we can move it to a different folder if we wanted to. We can delete stuff uh, here. We can import and export, but I'll cover that in a separate video. And we can toggle our orders or just refresh the stuff. So let's create a new lab. It's just this pla uh, this page image. We click on add new lab. We get a nice pop up. It asks us to give the thing a name. So I could call this my first lab. We can give it a version number if wanted. We can give it an author name so that people know it was you that created the labs. So I'll just maybe make this the network uh, bird. And we can set up some descriptions and maybe some basic tasks uh, in community edition. So uh, let's have fun is what I'll make the description with a little smiley face. And I'll make the tasks adding some nodes. So I'm going to save that. And before I do anything here, I just want you to see if I if I click on the close lab, it'll take me back to that screen. And here we can see my first lab. So if I wanted to, I can just click on it and you can open it from here or you can edit some of the details. So this brings us to what makes Eve so cool and why everybody loves using it is we're accessing this through our browser and gives us a nice little grid canvas. And now we can actually start adding different things to the topology because we're going to call this a topology. We won't just call it a canvas, but you do it all these different, um, options here on the side. So you get your nodes, your networks, your startup configs, uh, configured objects, more actions. So here you can start or stop all your nodes or export some configuration or, or, or whatnot. Refresh topology. This is useful for if there's something weird happening with the browser session. So let's say all of your nodes might be blue or it looks weird. You can just click on the refresh topology. It'll fix that. You can zoom in on out. You can look at the status here as well, but this will just give you again a overview of the resources being used by Eve. Um, lab details. So here we, we're saying let's have fun adding some nodes. So nothing too serious. Uh, lock lab will basically just stop you from being able to move things around in the lab. So if I lock the lab, 
It means you, you can't change stuff on the nodes. You can't move them around. Uh, we got a nice little dark mode here, which they added quite recently for um, community edition. This used to be a professional feature. And you saw what happens when we close lab. It will just take us back to the main menu and we can log out from here as well. So first thing that we want to do is we want to actually add some nodes. So you can click here and then actually, you, I think you can click on the add an object and a node. But what's cool is on the canvas itself, you can just right click and now you can add a new object. So we can add a node, network, picture, custom shape or text. And there's a nice auto align button as well that just like puts everything. It's not 100% nice, but it, it can make your topology look a bit better uh, when you just do that and then you can start moving the stuff around. But let's add some nodes. And I'm, I'm not going to add any nodes yet because I don't have anything except a virtual PC that comes with Eve. And it's not like a very smart PC. This is a very simple desktop. It, it can do pings and you can give it an IP address, but it's useful for testing certain things or if connectivity works. So let's add a node. I'll add two um, of these desktop machines and I'll save it so that you can just see what happens. Now we've got two nodes. We've got two virtual PCs and we can connect them by just hovering over this um, little plug thingy, this connector, this orange connector, and you can drag it and drop it on a different um, node or on a network. And then this device would be able to communicate. But with Community Edition, the devices need to be off. If they're turned on, you can't do anything with the connectors. Only with Probe, you can connect things while they're on. But let's connect these two pieces together on their Ether Zero interfaces. Let's save them. And what I'm going to do now is just start them up. So you can right click on the image, on the node, and you can start. Now this will start up that virtual piece of equipment, which we will do a lot of stuff like with routers, and we'll import them, especially MakerTix, so that we can um, play around with them and configure them. All right, these pieces are started up, and if I left click on it, it will prompt me a pop-up here to choose an application and I can connect with my putty. And here we go. I've got a putty session now to my virtual PC. And from this virtual PC, it, it'll this will be able to do very basic things. So I could maybe give it like an IP like 10, uh, 0, 0 0.1 slash 24. And I'm going to close this. And then I'm just going to open up the PC too. And I'm going to give this an IP of 10.0.0.2 slash 24. And then all I'm going to do is see, can I ping out? Can I ping 10.0.0.1, which is the first virtual PC? And I can ping that. And that works like a normal ping now. It's normal ICMP traffic. So now we can see, we can test connectivity between these two virtual PCs. Um, what I can do is I can turn them off quickly. And then if I right click on a cable, I can delete it. And then I'm going to add a network. So the network is also very important because the network is what's going to allow you access towards your devices using something like Winbox, or you could connect this stuff via IP directly. And what we're going to do is I'm going to select the management cloud zero network. And this will basically act as a connection to my virtual address uh, that Eve's using this 192.168.74.139 address. So it will be in that same address space. So I'm going to use the management cloud and that actually gives you access out to the internet that's natted out and it will be able to get out to the internet. And then what I can do is I can connect these two PCs to the cloud, which is now the internet actually. And then I'll start them up again. And then once they're started up, I'll just quickly give them an IP address in the same range. So I'll, I'll just do one of the PCs. So this, VPC one, I'm going to give the IP of 192.168.74. Let's make it 50.50 slash 24. And I'm going to make its gateway 192.168.74.2. So with the Eve natted ad adapters and stuff, dot two is typically always going to be your gateway. So you, you could be 192.168.102, but dot two would be your gateway out. And then Let's just quickly test and see if we have internet out. So I can do something like ping 8888, which is Google's DNS. 
and I can ping that. I can actually get to the internet from this node that's in EVNG by connecting to a management cloud. Um, the other stuff that we might typically use is the custom shapes. So this is just to make your topology look a little bit nicer. We can dash some stuff um, and we can just save that. And you'll see it'll make a nice little box and we could put our pieces in these boxes or routers or whatever. And it would just make the topology look a little bit cleaner. All right, so that about covers the basics of how to add a lab in EVNG, how to add nodes, how to add networks, and how to connect devices, which is really what the lesson is about. So I'm going to end off the lesson here. I'd like to thank you for watching. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to import um, labs into EVNG. So stick around for that. See ya.